Hey, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing out there today? Hope everybody's blessed and uh, having a wonderful day today. Um, we're going to thank God, give Him praise. Uh, thank you, old Father, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Thank you, Father. Guide us throughout this day. We pray that you watch to us and guide and order our steps throughout this day. Lead us, Father. Do not do temptation and deliver us from evil. And not only that, pray for our families and everyone that's in the world throughout these hard times. We bless you. We praise you. In your name, we pray. Jesus Christ, amen. So, today's is uh, God's good news for you today. And the top of topic I want to speak on is uh, holding the water of faith. <clears throat> Holding the water of faith takes a lot, especially when you're going through something that uh, you've never been through in your lifetime, and that uh, it's, it's a, how can I say this, it's a very, 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 very hard process to do, especially without spilling the water out of the cup. <laughs> um, holding a cup of water holding a cup of water of faith and that's without spilling I hold the cup because it's my father's cup and I'm disciplined in holding it without spilling it because it makes the world to me by holding it for him and it's such a beautiful thing because I'm honored to hold that cup for him it's not an easy process, but it's something, but it's something, well, I'm going to say it like this, somebody got to do it. Why not me? <laughs> so I did it. Father and I are one. We hold faith, not, in, not just in the cup, but in each other. And that's what I call holding the water of faith. You see, faith takes steps. And the closer you get to the heart, and the closer you get, the harder it gets. The more righteous you perceive to be moving away from sin and being humble is the key to your happiness and faith in God, Jesus Christ. You have to become humble in your process and of change because father loves the humbleness and the righteousness it is the key to your faith oh my second you have to have strong will and faith in the process that father is going to do what he says he's going to do Father don't lie. He's not a man of lies. And he's going to do what he says he's going to do. This I know for sure because I've seen him do some things in my life that I could never say that he's not done for me. He just tests his kids because he wants them to become the best at what they do. Like him. No one. Nothing. Not a, not a it or somebody can outbeat him or outshine him. I just say he's the man. <laughs> and he is. And with that, he gives you the name for who you are, which is like a nickname to him. And he called me, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but he called me Superman. And I just laugh because he knows I'm tough. 
but I have feelings too. But sometimes, sometimes I block out the, my feelings in order to get the job done. So that way Father called me, that's why Father called me Superman. You have to have the most impossible faith when it comes to Father. Because it's going to, it's going to be people who won't like what you're, what you're doing. But you have to, I'm going to say, you have to deal with, you really don't have to deal with what, who, and what they say. And you don't have to care about, care about what, who, and what they say. You just have to move on. Take it with a grain of salt. Keep going. Okay? Because at the end of the day, it's your faith in God, not theirs. You have to think about that. They hated Jesus, whom so loved the world, and remember you live in and remember you live in this world but you're not of this world remember that so be your own superman and god's hero too well so be your own superman and god's hero too because in the mix of you being your hero he also is going to be yours in a major way. Triple the times you are for him. Now that's what I call love. Look to the sky and keep moving forward. And watch how easy things get for you. I've been through the fire. Some, some, some more, <clears throat> some may say stuff defeating the enemy. Some may say defeating the enemy and we always win. The keepers of the light, and we give Father the glory for what, for what He gave to you, and which your birth, and with that alone, that's faith, because He had faith in you coming to this world to do what you can, to do what you were purposed to do, holding the water, the cup of faith. That's God's good news for you today, and y'all have a blessing. I see you next time. Praise Father.